Welcome back again to another Tech Guru video. Today we are in Adobe Photoshop and I will be showing you how to create a very neat glowing neon stripe effect within your photos. A lot of times they are called sparkle trails or whatever it may be. It adds a nice emphasis effect within your photo. So I have a nice image here of a young man in a flash costume and I want to create a few uh, glowing outer you know, neon shaped lines that surround him. So I'm going to show you how to do that now. The first thing you're going to want to do is go ahead and insert your image within Photoshop. That should be your original background layer. Go ahead and create a new layer. So go ahead, even before we do that, let's go ahead and work on our brush first. So go ahead and go up and select your brush tool, which will be right over here in your toolbar. So select our brush tool. Now, in order to edit our brushes, we need to go up and click on the brush option here. But before we even do that, we want to select a specific brush. Go ahead and click on the down arrow here to open the brush presets. Now, if you go over here to the flanged arrow here on the right side of your brush options, click on that, go all the way down to your assorted brushes options. This is uh, automatically within Photoshop, so you shouldn't have to download anything, and go ahead and click on the assorted brushes. Once you do that, click OK, and now all of these assorted brushes will be available. Now there should be one with a number 28 below it. This one, if you hover over it, should say Texture 4. Select the Texture 4 brush. Once you have done that, you can go ahead and select off now. Once you've done that, go ahead and open the brush options here by clicking on the toggle brush panel option up here in the top left hand corner. Once you do that, all of your brush options will become available to you now. Within your brush options, options, you want to click on the brush tip shape, which is the top one there, and go down to spacing and make your spacing all the way down to 1%. Once you have done that, go ahead and click on the shape dynamics and make sure that the pin pressure is selected here. You do not want it to be off or any of the other ones. Click on pin pressure. Once you have that done, you now have the brush the way that you want it. So we now want to start working with our layers. So we want to create a new layer. So in order to do that, click on the create a new layer option there and go ahead and title this layer whatever you want to title it. So I'm going to name mine glowing stripes. Go ahead and select that now. Now we want to add a layer effect. In order to add a layer effect, we will go down to the FX option on the bottom of the layers panel. Click on that and go down to outer glow. You want to apply an outer glow effect. Now your layer styles options become available. Within your outer glow, you want to change your blend mode over to hard light, which is right here. Click on hard light. You want to change your opacity all the way up to 100%, okay? And then now you want to select the color of choice. So in this case, I'm going to add a nice bright yellow effect. So once you have your color selected, and it can be any color, click OK. Now that we have our layer styling the way that we want it, we will click OK. Now the next thing that we want to do is grab our pen tool. Do not worry if you're not uh, a good pen tool user. It really doesn't matter because this is all up to you and how you want to design it. Now what we want to do is go ahead and start selecting objects, or not objects, we want to create paths. So make sure on your pen tool it is under the option paths. It is not on shape layers or fill pixels. So make sure up here it is selected to paths. Once we have done that, we then want to start drawing out paths and adding curves and whatever we want to do. If you do mess up, go ahead and hit Command Z, which will undo it. So go ahead and start drawing a path here and make it curve and, you know, do whatever you want to do. Now, this is not going to be perfect because obviously uh, there will be, you know, some things that you'll want to go in and change. Once we have our path drawn out and we have some nice curves around our image, we then want to go ahead and go up to Window all the way down to Paths your paths window should have a check mark beside it. If we click on window and go down to paths, then our paths option will become available. Once we see our paths option here, you will see a work path. That is the path that you currently just drew out. What we want to do now is we want to go ahead and right click on that, go all the way down to stroke path. 
Now once you do that, it may be set to pencil. If it is, go ahead and click on the brush option. Now once you have done that, you then can click OK. Now, once I click OK, it's going to add a nice glowing line effect here that surrounds my image. So now if I click off, you see here I have a nice yellow glowing image. I can go ahead and zoom in on that for you to show you exactly what we're dealing with. If I zoom in there, you can see now I have created a nice little yellow glowing line. Now I can do this as many times as I would like and it adds a nice emphasis on my image with these nice glowing effects. So I'm going to go ahead and zoom back out now and you can do this with any color that you want. Just go back through, create a, a you know, a, a make the brush a different color uh, within the glowing stripes. You can, you know, copy your layer effect and make it a different color and then you can add these nice little glowing stripes here to your images. This will add a very nice effect to your images. If you have any questions on how to do this guys, go ahead and put them in the comment box below. I'll be more than happy to answer them. If this video helped you and you liked it, click on the little like button, thumbs up button below. Don't forget to subscribe, it does help me out. And as always guys, thank you for watching my videos and I will see you guys next time.